Okay, let's move forward with simplifying a few more of these. Um, this one's square root of 144, which is nice. It uh, well, actually, I left off my list here. Um, we have the square root 144 is is um, is 12 times 12, so uh, we have 12, and then we know this is square root, so two goes into two one time, and then two goes into three one time, but we have one y left under the radical sign. Next, we're going to do the cube root of 27, which is on our list. So the cube root of 27 is 3. And then 3 goes into 12 four times. So we have 3y to the fourth. And that one simplifies nicely. Nothing left in the radical sign. Now, when you see these fractions like this, you want to break this apart and do uh, the numerator. So the numerator um, when we look at it, the 19, nothing can happen with it, but we can divide 2 into 10 and we get x to the fifth comes out front. So this is what the numerator is. Okay. Then the denominator, we have the square root of 25y to the eighth, which simplifies to 5y to the fourth. Well, what we end up with then is x to the fifth square root of 19 over 5y to the fourth. So attack the numerator, attack the denominator, and then stack them for your answer.